Hello everybody. With the times we're in at the moment where we're not at school and we're having to stay at home, we might have a lot of worries. It's always good to talk about your worries, especially with your grown-ups. Now I've got a story here called The Huge Bag of Worries. Let's have a look what it's all about. This is Jenny. Jenny was always happy. She had a lovely mum and dad and a brother, well, most of the time. And she had a best friend at school. She liked her teacher. And of course, there was her dog, Lofus. But recently, she had been getting gloomier and gloomier. It wasn't just one thing, it was everything. She was worried she was getting too fat. That Lofus had fleas. That her best friend was going away. She worried she was getting bad marks at school. And she thought she heard people whispering about her in the playground. She worried when her mum and dad had an argument. She even worried about bombs and wars. Until one day, she woke up to find a huge bag of worries. The bag followed her everywhere, to school, to swimming, to the toilet. And it was stuck by her even when she was watching TV. She tried to ignore it but it didn't work. She tried to throw it away, but it always came back. She tried to lock it out the house, but when she got back to her bedroom, there it was, waiting for her. It was like a horrible shadow that she couldn't get rid of. What could she do? She asked her brother for help, but he was too busy with his computer games. And all he said was, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any worries. After that, she didn't feel like asking anyone else. She knew she'd only feel stupid. Mum would probably say, You've got no worries that I can see. You're a lucky girl. You've got your health, your friends, your family. What more do you want? So she decided not to tell her. Dad might know what to do. But then again, she thought, No, Dad's got enough worries of his own. She couldn't ask him. Every day, things got worse. The bag got bigger and bigger and bigger. She couldn't sleep because of it tossing and turning beside her all night. To make matters worse, she dragged it around her feet so much when walking to school that she was late and the teacher was cross. Jenny couldn't tell her what had happened. And anyway, she knew what she would say. You've got too many worries. In future, leave that bag at home. When Jenny told her best friend about the bag, she suggested that Jenny looked up in, locked it up in a cupboard and tried not to think about it. That's what I'd do, she said. But it just didn't work. Even Lofus couldn't help. He tried his best and he barked like mad. But the bag stood its ground. One morning, Jenny woke up, got dressed and walked down the road. She'd had enough. The tears started rolling down her cheeks. She sat on the garden wall and put her head in her hands. She thought she'd have to live with this bag forever. Then she heard a voice. Looking up, she saw a kindly face of an old lady who lived next door. Goodness, said the little old lady. What on earth is that huge bag of worries? Through the tears, Jenny explained how it had followed her for weeks and got bigger and bigger and it wouldn't go away. Now let's just open it up and see what's inside, said the old lady. But Jenny said she couldn't. If she opened the bag, the worries might jump out. Who knew what might happen? Oh, nonsense, said the lady firmly. There's nothing wrong. There's no nothing a worry hates more than being seen. If you have any worries, however small, the secret is to let them out slowly, one by one, and show them to somebody else. Then they'll soon go away. So Jenny opened up the bag. The old lady sorted the worries into groups. Jenny was astonished to see how small they all looked when they were out in the open. Half the worries disappeared just because lots of worries hate the light of day. For the rest, the old lady put some in her shopping basket to deal with by herself. Some sent packing uh, because they belonged to other people. She just blew a kiss to some and some 
she said, were worries that everybody had, even Jenny's family, her friends and her teacher. And as for the bag, they threw it away. So think about the worries that you have got. Maybe if you tried talking to people about your worries, just like Jenny did there, you'd find out that some of those worries are not anything to be worried about at all. Goodbye, everybody.